And here we are, as promised, for our quick computer building guide. And guys, for those of you that already assembled your systems, like I did with this recent one, you probably want to skip this one, and you probably want to watch the next one, which will be how to install Mac OS on this particular build. Now, for all of you out there that are wondering if you should build your system or not, this video is intended for you, and especially because, in my honest opinion, it is something really simple to do, and at the end of the day, really rewarding. Now, I have assembled quite a few systems for myself, and also a few systems for some of my friends, and it's always rewarding at the end of the day. Now, we might take one hour, we might take one day, but at the end of the day, it's something that we have built, and it's a really pleasure to use it. That being said, let's go straight for it. And we are back and going straight to the topic. Once we have all the components, we will need to uh, prepare our case. And to do so, all we need to do is to open it up and then prepare it to take the motherboard, like putting some screws and installing the back IO shield. Next, we will place the motherboard on top of its cardboard case and I will insert the CPU. There's only one way that the CPU can go guys so we can see a small triangle identifying it and once it's in its place just push to secure it and that is it. Now next I did place a M.2 SSD that I will be using for my main operating system and the applications that I'll be using. Now, if I was going to use a air cooler, I would place it right now and then the RAM before placing the motherboard into its place. But I'll be using a water cooler, so I will place the motherboard into the case and secure it with some screws. Now, have in mind that some cases don't have a back cutout for the motherboard, and if that's your case, then you will need to place the cooler back plate before placing the motherboard inside the case. Now, in my particular case, I can place it afterwards, so no issues at all. Now, next, I'm going to fit in the water cooler all-in-one solution in this particular case, and I will need to fit the radiator at the front along with its 140 millimeter fan, and the cooler block will be secured on top of the CPU and secured with four screws so that we have a good contact. Now, the next component will be the power supply. And as you guys can see on screen, really easy to secure it with four screws. As I said on some of my videos, it's not a great fit at this moment using a white PSU on a black build, but it will have to do for now. Now, the next step was to add a two terabyte hard drive for storage. And once again, four screws will do the job right over here. Then I'll place the RAM, which in this particular case, I'm using four sticks of eight gigabytes each, which makes a total of 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. And then I can place in the GPU in its place and secure it once again with two screws. Now, once everything is in place, guys, comes the most tedious part, which is the cable management. Now, there are some cases that will help us, like the one that I'm using, the NZXT H400i, that we can easily route all the cables and hide most of them, as you guys can see on screen, on the PSU protection. And then there will be others that will be a bit more difficult to work with. Now, the important at the end of the day is that we can hide as much as possible and also to leave space for a good airflow inside the case. And then finally, the ultimate test, which is to plug it into a power source and a monitor and press that power button to check if everything is working fine. And once we have our first boot, then we can decide which operating system we will use. In my particular case, as you guys can see, I did install Windows and also Mac OS i Sierra. So I will be dual booting with this particular system, both Windows 10 and Mac OS Sierra, which will be the next video, a quick guide for a Hackintosh, which is something that some of you guys are interested. And that being said, as you guys could see, really easy to assemble your system. And if you are not sure of any step, there are instructions for everything with every component. So that will make 
very easy for even the most beginning in this particular field. And that is it, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. And if you did, so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.